And we do begin with that breaking news. It is official. Some local school districts are hitting the pause button on sports as the El Paso area is slammed by COVID-19. Good afternoon. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. The district's decisions come at the recommendation of El Paso County officials. KTSM 9 Sports Director Andy Morgan kicks off our team coverage. He is live in the studio with more. Andy. Natasha, on Sunday, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego made it very clear where he stood with regards to high school sports and the current health crisis. Judge Samaniego saying he was highly encouraging all local school districts in the county to suspend athletics for at least two weeks, and today at least a few of them did. Not all school districts, but a handful are falling in line with the request of the county, including El Paso's largest school district, El Paso ISD. Socorro ISD and Canateo ISD are the other confirmed school districts who have also suspended athletics until further notice. Much like the request from the judge, this was not an easy decision made by the districts, and for the coaches, it was even harder breaking the news to their kids. We want to get back on the field and, and be out and about again. Uh, we got to pay attention to, to, to all the uh, safety measures going around. It's what we have to do. It's, it's, uh, if it has to be done, we all have to do it. Once again, there is no time frame for a return to action for these three school districts who have suspended competition. Now, as it stands, there are three school districts suspending play. Six school districts are going to continue play. They confirm into KTSM 9 Sports. That includes San Elizario ISD and Favens ISD. In fact, both football teams, they're scheduled to play tonight in San Elizario. That's where we find KTSM 9's Colin Deaver. Colin, we're about two hours from kickoff there at Eagle Stadium. What is the very latest that you are hearing? Yeah, Andy, obviously, about two, as you said, about two hours until kickoff, and uh, all is set to go here at 7 p.m. San Elizario and Fabens are expected to play here a football game tonight that has actually uh, been rescheduled from a couple of weeks ago. Now, as you said, the recommendation for Judge Samaniego is exactly that, a recommendation. The school districts can then make whatever decision that they choose to make with regards to athletics. As you said, three have decided to postpone, suspend athletics. Some uh, not going with that decision. We're waiting to hear from a couple of others. But San Elizario and Fabens are one of those school districts that have decided to continue. And uh, as again, they will be playing tonight at 7 p.m. Get this game moved to tonight because uh, Fabens IC originally suspended athletics a few weeks ago and then chose to return in order to make up district games in District 14A. It was rescheduled for tonight, but now comes as other districts locally have suspended athletics. But as of now, Fabens and San Elizario will be continuing high school athletics. And San Elizario will be only playing high school athletics. Athletics is what we are hearing actually. It will not be continuing at the middle school level, but at the high school level, they will be playing. Now, we will hopefully be speaking with some officials from both San Elizario and Fabens here in a little bit to uh, discuss the decision to continue with athletics ahead of this football game being played at San Eli High School tonight. Hopefully, we'll have that tonight at 6 for you on KTSM. For now, live in San Eli, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports. All right, thank you very much, Colin. Do appreciate the insight. Here's a look at where the school districts stand. Three districts making a large portion of the schools who have suspended play with some of these smaller districts. They will continue to play. We're still waiting to hear from a decision from Isleta ISD. Now, coming up in our 6 o'clock newscast, we're going to hear from San Elizario head coach Roberto Herrera on the district's decision to continue to move forward with only not only tonight's game, but future competition as well. That's tonight at 6. Back to you.